Hello everyone, welcome back. The theme of today's video is Mid-Autumn Festival. You'll need the same things as always, some paints, watercolor paper, a paintbrush, today a pencil, an eraser, some tissue, and water, as well as some spare paper. Today also it will be helpful to have something you can use to dry the paper. So we'll start by drawing the moon, which is our first word for today. Moon or la lune in French. If you use your water glass, you can make a perfect circle. If not, an imperfect circle works just as well. Every year, Mid-Autumn Festival is celebrated on the 15th day of the eighth month of the lunar calendar which is when the moon is the most full. There is a legend that the goddess Chang'e drank a magic elixir and ascended to the moon. If you look, you might be able to see her. Next, we will draw the lanterns. Lantern is our second word for today, or une lanterne. I drew mine like this but you can draw the lanterns in any shape you would like. Just make sure that the ones at the bottom of the page are bigger than the ones at the top of the page. So they look like they are going up and into the sky towards the moon. Once you are done drawing your lanterns, and you may not want to draw as many as I did, you can erase the lines or leave them more visible to paint. It is up to you. We'll start by painting the moon. You can use some white paint or a light blue or gray with lots of water just to make the circle of the loon a bit wet. To give texture to the inside of the moon, I mix together a blue and a gray and just make some blobs like this to look like craters or Chang'e on the moon. Then you can add some yellow around the outside to make it look like the moon is lit up with the sun's light.
Next, we will paint the lanterns. First, outline where you drew with pencil in a color like red, yellow, or orange. In order to make the lanterns look lit up with light, try to make the bottom a lighter color than the top. So here, I've used some red at the top and some yellow at the bottom so that it looked lit up with the candle. To mix the colors from the top and the bottom of the lantern, you can take a little bit of water on your brush and push it up towards the top of the lantern like this. Next, you can do the same thing for all the other lanterns that you drew. Again, you don't have to put as many as I did here. It's whatever you would like. I thought it was fun to have one of the lanterns over the corner of the moon to give a sense of depth, so you could do that too if you would like. And don't worry so much about the ones at the top for the details. Just add the same red, orange, and yellow colors and it will look very nice.
Then you can take anything to dry off your lanterns and the moon, just like this. So while you're drying, we have our third word for today, which is rabbit or un lapin in French. Legend has it that the jade rabbit lives on the moon with Chang E. Once everything is dry on the page, we're going to fill in the night sky. Now you can start at the top with your darkest color. So if you have a dark blue, a bit of black or even brown, mix them all together with not a lot of water. And you can start at the top like this. I found it easiest to draw a bit of an outline with paint around the lanterns and the moon so that the paint doesn't get in what you already painted. You can flip your paper around so that your hand doesn't cover everything you already painted. Then in the middle, we want a bit of a lighter blue. So I took the lighter blue I have in my paint palette and mixed it in for the middle of the page.
Then for the sky at the bottom, I took more of a turquoise blue and mixed it in with the rest of the sky color and blended everything together until I was happy. Then the last thing you can do is dry the page again if you have time and splatter some yellow on top just like the stars. A fun trick for this is to put something on top of the moon so that you don't get the stars on top of the moon. Another trick if you want to do this is to empty out your dark blue water and use some fresh water before using the yellow paint. Our last word of the day is mooncake or un gâteau de lune. These are yummy treats you can eat during mid-autumn festival. They have lots of different fillings so you can pick your favorite. I hope everyone has a good mid-autumn festival that you see the full moon and enjoy the annual harvest. Bye everyone!